the United States is about to be invaded. However, it's not what you may think because this is not troops from another country landing on our shores. No, this is actually something that hasn't happened in over 221 years. And this is gonna happen this year, according to experts. But I wanna break down what is happening because right now there's a lot of people concerned because of noise. I wanna explain why and I'm gonna show you some clips. You can hear it yourself of why the noise that's about to come could actually disrupt millions of people. And this could actually be good news for our environment. So I'm gonna explain what is going on in just a moment. I know a lot of stuff is happening right now, but again, this is not as scary as it may seem. So I'm gonna break that down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So wait a minute, the United States is about to be invaded, but it's not scary? Well, it kind of is. Just look at this. We are about to be invaded by cicadas. It says a cicada invasion, trillions of noisy flying insects to swarm the US for the first time in 221 years. It says the two different broods of cicadas have not risen from the ground simultaneously since Thomas Jefferson was president. And my guess is nobody out there is watching uh, that was around when Thomas Jefferson was president. But here's the thing. Look at these creepy little bugs. These are cicadas, okay? This is something that we are about to see trillions, according to many experts. We're gonna see trillions of these, okay? Now, I wanna show you this one thing, because this is actually from uh, uh, Fox News. It says billions, if not trillions, of two groups of noisy flying insects are expected to merge from the underground in 17 US states in April in a rare natural phenomenon not seen since 1803. The insects known as cicadas are set to spring up and engage in a frantic mating frenzy lasting several weeks before they will all eventually die near trees. This is something that I, I've, I've seen cicadas, but I haven't seen trillions, haven't even seen billions, okay? Maybe hundreds, but that's about it. And the scary thing about this is they, they kind of look freaky. But if you live in any of these states, okay, I want to show you this map. So if you live in uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, uh, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, uh, Missouri, Arkansas, uh, Virginia, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, all those states are going to have some form of of uh, cicadas, whether it's brood 13 or brood 19. Some are gonna have both, okay? Especially right here, okay, in uh, Illinois. This is a concern, is in Illinois, they're actually gonna have both of the broods. They're gonna have brood 13 and brood 19. And so in Chicago, they're actually warning that we could have two weeks of just loud noises. Now. I want to play you uh, a few clips really quick. Listen to this one. This right here is one cicada. Listen to this. That's just one cicada. Now listen to this. This is actually multiple cicadas. We do not know if this is, you know, hundreds. We don't know if this is thousands, but this is not trillions. Just listen to this. That right there is multiple cicadas and experts are telling us we're going to hear this for two weeks. It's going to last for two weeks. Just think how difficult it is for you to sleep if you have that noise going on. And again, this has not happened. There's no YouTube video from when Thomas Jefferson was president. Okay. I wish there was, but there wasn't. I know I wasn't around, but here's the reason why this is such a big deal. It has been 221 years since both broods have actually, uh, you know, came at the same time. This is why some are saying and speculating that the noise will be unbearable 
for about two weeks if you live in the South and the Midwest, okay? Now, I wanna play you this clip. Just listen to this, okay? Because again, this is coming very soon. Periodical cicadas, the kind that emerge every 13 to 17 years, are expected to start showing up in just a few weeks. But this time, there could be more than we can handle. A rare double dose of the bugs that can sing as loud as jet engines is about to hit the south, then move north to the Midwest. All thanks to a combination of two separate types of cicadas that haven't bred at the same time since 1803. So, right there. So, there's two different uh, broods of cicadas, okay? Now, one comes out every 13 years, the other one is every 17 years. This is the first time they both come out at the same time in 221 years. But, I wanna show you this, okay? Now again, they say trillions of cicadas are about to be seen. Here's the, here's the reason why I bring this to your attention. A lot of people are extremely concerned because these are bugs that they, they see them every once in a while, but it's not something that they see thousands or billions of, okay? I wanna show you this. It's actually, I believe from Fox News as well, or from the New York Post. Uh, look at this right here. It says, uh, but don't be alarmed. Cicadas, show you this. Cicadas are not harmful to humans, pets, household gardens, or crops, according to the EPA. It says, in fact, the valuable food source, uh, they are a valuable food source for birds and mammals, Cicadas can even aerate your lawn and improve water filtration into the ground while they add nutrients to the soil as they decompose. That's the good news. So even though this sounds like the United States is going to be invaded, that's a very troubling thing because if I were to said that, you know, last year or two years ago, well, think about the invasion that was happening at that time. So the U.S. being invaded was not a good, good news story. Today... It actually is considered good news. Here's what I can tell you. Here's the negative effects of cicadas, okay? This is according to the EPA. It says cicadas can be dangerous to young trees. They say, uh, the EPA is saying that cicadas lay their eggs in small tree branches uh, and they can potentially harm the tree if there's too many cicadas laying their, their uh, eggs in those tree branches. They say to protect uh, maturing saplings, cover them in mesh or netting to keep the insects out. It says on the upside, larger trees are not at risk. They're pretty much the smaller ones, okay? Now, what damage okay, are this, is this gonna cause? Well, periodical cicadas can cause physical damage to small trees or shrubs, okay? Keep that in mind. Bigger trees, it's normally okay. The smaller ones, that's where they're getting damaged because again, they're so young, okay? So again, if you want to protect your small trees or shrubs or whatever, uh, make sure you cover them with some type of mesh or a netting, all right? But that is what we know. The interesting part about this, and I've been uh, getting a lot of people asking is, you know, is this something that we're gonna see on the West Coast? And according to the reports, the answer is no. Okay, we're not gonna see it, but just think about it. What if you ran across that little bug? What if you ran across hundreds of them, thousands of them, millions, billions, potentially a trillion of these things? Well, they're not all gonna be isolated into one location, but the United States could be hit with over a trillion cicadas very soon. The interesting thing about this is, it's a scary looking, odd looking bug, but it will actually provide no harm to the American people, so. We'll see what happens moving forward, but just wanted to fill you in on what's going on because again, you know, this is something that many people are concerned with. I actually have a friend uh, that lives over in the Chicago area and him and his wife and their two kids, they're actually considering just leaving the state for about three weeks because he cannot handle that kind of noise. But it's an interesting thing that's happening right now. Again, once we get any more information on this and whether it uh, potentially turns into a, a bad thing or not, I will provide you with that update as soon as we get it. So that's what we know as of today. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.